This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at polyatomic ions. Polyatomic ions or molecular ions are ions that consist of two or more atoms bonded together with covalent bonds. Here we have four examples of polyatomic ions. From left to right, we have the ammonium ion, the carbonate ion, the nitrate ion, and the phosphate ion. As we can see from these Lewis structures, polyatomic ions consist of two or more atoms bonded together. The atoms in a polyatomic ion are bonded with covalent bonds. The bonding between the ions in a compound that contains a polyatomic ion is ionic bonding. The example we look at is ammonium chloride. Ammonium chloride is an ionic compound that consists of one ammonium ion and one chloride ion. The bonds between the nitrogen and hydrogen atoms are covalent bonds. The bonds between the ammonium ions and the chloride ions are ionic. So compounds that contain a polyatomic ion have two types of bonding. The bonding between the atoms in the polyatomic ion is covalent, but between the ions is ionic. Polyatomic ions with more than one position for a multiple bond exist as resonance structures. Here we can see the three resonance structures of the nitrate ion. Each resonance structure differs by the position of the nitrogen to oxygen double bond. However, the nitrogen to oxygen bonds are identical. They are intermediate in length and strength between a single and a double bond. Resonance structures will be covered in more detail in a later video. Next we look at electron domain and molecular geometry. The geometry of a polyatomic ion depends on the number of electron domains around the central atom. So on the left we have the phosphate ion, which has four electron domains around the central phosphorus atom. The electron domain geometry and the molecular geometry are both tetrahedral. Next we have the carbonate ion, which has three electron domains around the central carbon atom. Both the electron domain and the molecular geometry are trigonal planar. Next, we have the sulfate 4 ion, which is also known as the sulfite ion. Around the central sulfur atom, there are four electron domains, which are three bonding domains and one non-bonding domain. The electron domain geometry is tetrahedral. The molecular geometry is trigonal pyramidal. And finally, on the left, we have the nitrite ion. There are three electron domains around the central nitrogen atom, two bonding domains and one non-bonding domain. The electron domain geometry is trigonal planar, and the molecular geometry is bent or V-shaped. So we'll end the video by looking at examples of polyatomic ions, their formulas and their charges. So starting with the carbonate ion, which is CO3 2 negative. Next, we have the sulfate 6 ion, and the sulfate 4 ion. Note they differ by the oxidation state of the sulfur, which is plus 6 in the sulfate 6 ion and plus 4 in the sulfate 4 ion. Next we have the nitrate ion, which is NO3 negative. The nitrite ion is NO2 negative. The hydrogen carbonate ion is HCO3 negative. Next we have the phosphate ion, which is PO4 3 negative. And the final negative polyatomic ion is the hydroxide ion, which is OH negative. The last example is the only positive ion in the list, which is the ammonium ion, NH4+.